All right, here we go. We're down to Cradle, the third last mission. All right, so here we go. Once again, double agent difficulty all the way. So this one is a little bit of a rush mission. There is a timer, and at the same time, you have enemies that are, I guess you can say, armored a little bit, or they have a lot of health. So it takes more shots to make them flinch. At the same time, they keep respawning all the time. And I think all of them have like double weapons. So we'll grab the body armor at the back here and then try to go as fast as we can going forward. Uh, so one enemy will always be right in front of you here on this uh, bridge. All right, so pick up his weapons, rush up and take out these two guys right here. And one enemy should come to your left. There we go. What I like to do is get his attention so he can actually shoot me and then he stops. And you can do the same thing with other people. Like here, I'll show you. Make him shoot you, he'll have to stop. And that makes him an easier target. Uh, so anyways, let's go down over here. There's one dude there. So be very careful with your ammo because it's going to be pretty low. Uh, you got to take down enemies all the time to refill your ammo. So anyways, we'll take down these two turrets. Close the door. And, oh great, someone was behind me. Okay, these two guys are here. Gotta watch out for the one inside this little area right there. All right, let me close the door again properly. Now we gotta shoot down this computer terminal right there, destroyed. And then we go after Alec and we'll close this door and try to shoot him in the head if possible because the more time you shoot him in the head to trigger those uh, conversations, the sooner you can get to the very end. Like for example, if you only shoot him in the limbs or in like the chest, it takes more of these interactions of chasing him and then shooting him. However, if you shoot him in the head, it takes far less. All right, so he's gonna run up here. He's gonna stand inside this little area up here and I'll stay right down here to where he cannot shoot me. I'll shoot him possibly in the head. He'll run off and he dropped a grenade, so be very careful. There's more body armor right there. All right, so we'll go through here. We'll try to chase him to the other side, but I'm low on ammo. Let me check if there's anybody up here. Okay, there's one down here, one to my left. All right, but that one's too far. So we'll just take this one. Yeah, I'm so low on ammo, look at that. So Alec is inside here. Yeah, when you get close enough, he's gonna take off. So keep your distance, get a good angle to where he cannot shoot you and pop him in the head. And uh, there we go, okay. So this leads to the very last encounter. And, oh, there's an enemy over there. Let me go to the other side because I only have like 19 bullets and I gotta use that for Alec at the very end. All right, so go down here. This is the finale. He'll fall down there. You follow him. Then when you land, it's a shootout or if you want, you can slap him. But uh, I'll use my gun and that's pretty much it. So that is the end of Cradle on Double Agent Difficulty. I'm also going to separate the ending cutscene of the game because I'll have it as a separate video. Uh, it's pretty simple and I'm sure a lot of us have seen it already many times throughout the years. It just shows Bond and Natalia kissing in the jungle as the credits roll vertically upward and that's pretty much it. Uh, but it does show a bunch of the characters in a different cutscene after that. So I will upload that as a separate video if you guys want to see it. So. Anyways, this one is done. On to the next one, which is Aztec, my favorite.